guys, so I know the last, I have mentioned that I was gonna do a birthday bee and that was supposed to be my next video. Obviously that's not the case. I'm actually trying out this 350XO palette as you guys are just viewed me use. Um, I will say that I do like it. The color selection is very nice and neutral with pink tones, which is perfect for the holidays. So this look right here um, was very, very fast. You guys saw it was like literally just three colors. Very simple, very easy, um, nothing too hard. Um, again, the white base does help a lot. I did the eyebrows with the glue, which was my first time doing it for an actual natural look. I've never done it for a natural look. Um, I would say it's a pretty fine. It actually, um, besides the little sticky stuff that's flaking, um, it's not as bad. It's like it's not that bad. Like, I mean, I think it's pretty similar to the glue with the glue work with the eyebrow. The eyelash glue. I'm gonna go ahead and attach these lashes, which are the Balaji Cosmetics lashes. So go ahead and make sure you shop Balaji Cosmetics. The link is gonna be in the description box, as it always is. And you guys know that is what I mainly use for any type of lashes. So definitely go check that out. Apply a little bit of mascara. Sorry about the noise, but I'm applying a little bit of mascara on my natural lashes just to kind of blend in the fake with the real. I love these lashes. They're so fluffy like I mentioned before. They're actually not that dramatic. I feel like obviously if you're not used to wearing long lashes, I would definitely work your way up to it. But once you start using this, you literally will never go back. So that's my thing. I was gonna do a story time for this video, but I can't think of like story times. I'm not a very good storyteller. If you know me, you would know that about me. But if you guys do want to hear story times, I do have a lot of good stories. It's just, again, I'm not that great of a storyteller. So I kind of don't want to like just go on and on and on forever about something that's not that you guys don't really care about that much. Um, but yeah there we go and if you guys saw it right now a few seconds ago i tried the hooded eye eyeliner trick which basically is for girls with hooded eyes um it just looks like this like i showed you guys a second ago um yeah i tried it it's pretty nice um no complaints so far about how it looks i would say definitely use an eyeliner you trust this eyeliner works pretty pretty well mr got it for me um it works really well. It's actually very nice and foolproof um, with a lot of stuff, like in general, like with oils and stuff, if you're an oil, oily little girl. Um, so yeah, no complaints. This one came out perfect. This one came out like kind of perfect. Not as perfect as this one, but you know, still good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little snippet of a quick tutorial of some nails that I did today um, on a client. That kind of go with this look, I feel like. It's actually perfect because they're so nice and ready for the fall. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of this glue onto the top. I'm going to try to like remove as much as I can. I'm going to apply it a little bit to the top right here. On top of my, of the lash. Line. Oh, I got some of the actual lashes. That's not good. Just wipe that off real quick. And then I'm going to wait till that dries a little bit. It dries. And all I'm going to do is just push them up against that just so they stay put. And they give me a little lift. Because something about me is I have like two lopsided eyes, I feel like. I don't know if it's my actual eyes or if it's just the way that my eyebrows sit and makes it look, but it just kind of opens them up. So I'm gonna go do my eyebrows real quick, which you guys have seen a million times, and I'll be right back to the foundation. I went ahead and shaded my eyebrows. I did not perfect them. I always try to make them the same shape and whatever, but I was just not in the mood to perfect them. So today they're gonna be like sisters, maybe even cousins, um, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna take my red 
LA Girl Concealer, like the orange color correcting one. I'm just going to make apply some of that under my eyes it's because I have not been getting as much sleep as I normally do. And we can tell, baby girl. <laughs> so let's go ahead and apply that underneath just to contrast or color correct that. Um, and yeah, that's going to take away some of that purple tone. And yeah, I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Do not apply that much at all because then it gets onto your brush or your like sponge and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put some of my regular color concealer and my yellow color correcting one again. I'm going to have a yellow color correcting one. I'm going to apply the yellow one down here where I want it to be brighter. A little bit right here and right here. And then I'm going to apply the regular color one to the rest of my under eye. Just like so. Perfect. I'm going to go in with some foundation. And I know, I know, I know, I normally do step at a time. But today, I don't know why, I'm just like trying to change it up. Because I feel like I need to find a new way to do it faster. Um... So I'm just going to go ahead and start blending out my foundation and then slowly build my way up to my under eye just like that. And that low key saves me time as well as I feel like it makes me get like a more seamless blend because I have some of the foundation color on as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend all that out. So I will... Go ahead and keep doing that and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and baked. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bake and bronze on my face with my bronze, please. Um, you guys already know what happened with this bronzer when I bought it. So I'm just gonna use this one because I have it here and then I'm also gonna contour my nose. So I'll go ahead and do that. Brush to just bronze this up and contour slightly. I have that all done. I was having a lot of trouble with my nose contour today, so just go ahead and check out my nose contour video, which will be up here linked. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some blush, which I'm sorry to blind you guys, but I'm just using my Tarte blush, my microfiber sponge, the fat side of my Balaji Cosmetics one, which again, make sure you go ahead and get that. And I'm just using my Live Color from the, my Tarte palette that I always use. And applying that to the apple of my cheeks. Not too, too much. Just a little bit to add a little bit of color. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add some highlights. And add a tiny bit to my nose too. So I'll just go ahead and bounce that. Went ahead and applied my um, cheeky blush. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight. Um, I'm going to be highlighting with my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palette and the glow kit. I'm going to mix the mimosa and starburst that I normally do and just apply that to my exclamation point on my nose. A little blush. Er, <gasps> this has black on it. Okie dokie. Now I'm just going to apply some on my cheek. so lightly for that glow glow I don't want to go overboard with the glow just because I've been liking the matte look lately I'm gonna go in with my red color which is my eight hour stay matte lipstick that is by essence because this actually looks good with the red, so it's a very nice Christmassy look as well. And these lips, um, what colors smell good? I used to use Carmex as gloss 
and someone in, in like my elementary school was like, you have way too much Carmax on your lips. I think it was a teacher that I had a crush on. <laughs> That's funny. And he did it just like that. He was like, you have way too much Carmax on your lips. He did it just like that. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Bitches be doing that <laughs> when they can't afford lip gloss. <laughs> Okay, why he has to do me like that? I was like 10. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> but this is the look. Remember to go ahead and shop Balaji Cosmetics. Make sure you go ahead and click all the links below, especially the Balaji Cosmetics one. That's the lashes I use, the sponges I was using. And yeah, overall, check them out because they have great new stuff in now, perfect for the holidays, so make sure you check them out. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, you guys. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Make sure you're safe and warm for the holidays, even now during quarantine. So yeah, love you guys. Mwah.